Hey guys, it's pretty much all I've been using for the last couple weeks. So today I'm going to give you my overview and review of the Rothy's Daily Crossbody Purse. So maybe a month or so ago now, Rothy's came out with a number of new purse styles and also new color combinations for their bags and accessories. And I saw a lot of people really raving about the daily crossbody style. Um, the people who got it first just said how it was such a perfect size and so wonderful features. And um, I really liked it, but it did not come, I thought, in a regular plain black color, which is my usual color for purses and things so um, I was holding off getting it and then I saw somebody did a review or a post about this colorway ink and ivory which I thought was like a very very dark blue and I guess it is but it's like a really dark blue and it basically is black and they even said you know here I am wearing it with an all-black outfit and it does not look out of place so that kind of sold me on it so I went ahead and got the ink and ivory color so first I'm gonna read you the dimensions and then I'll go over kind of some of the other features. Um, I'll talk about uh, my pros and cons and I'll do a little what's in my bag to show you what fits in it currently. So this bag, the height is 8.3 inches. The length is 12.2 inches. The depth is 3.9 inches. The handle drop, is 9.4 inches and the adjustable strap length is 27.9 inches and like all the other Rothy's products it's made out of that you know recycled marine plastic it is machine washable um, it does have a zip top which is um, kind of a must-have feature for me in a bag um, like I mentioned it actually has two straps they're both removable I personally love um, kind of the look and also the versatility of having both straps on at the same time so it does have this crossbody strap that is adjustable and then it also has just a um, shorter shoulder strap which has kind of this little detail of the I don't even know what you'd call this. It's like a little raised piece um, in the contrasting ivory color. Um, the hardware is gold. Uh, if you you know know me and have watched some of my videos, you know I'm a, I'm a silver girl, but um, it is gold hardware. And there's no exterior pockets. And the interior pockets, which I, I'll show you more when I do a, a what's in my bag, but there's two kind of large patch pockets that actually um, if you see this stitch down the middle this is basically is just where the pockets are separated and it's kind of the whole width across so they're two very large patch pockets um, so I really like again you know the versatility of being able to wear it the different ways with the different kinds of straps it is really a very nice size um, I am kind of a you know a big purse girl and this definitely fits everything that I usually carry in like tote style bags or any other type of purse um, but there are kind of some pros and cons in my opinion so a couple of things that did bug me right away the first is that the material is just very you know loose and floppy and soft um, which is nice but as you start putting items into the bag it really does kind of lose its structure so um, what I found to help with that is that I put the majority of my items in a purse organizer again I'll show this more in a moment when I do what's in my purse but um, I think having some kind of organizer or like maybe a system of pouches or something in here to just like give it a little more structure will be very useful because um, even when you uh, you know zip it shut across the top sometimes that gives bags like this a little bit more structure it's still just like very floppy and loose and I wasn't really expecting that it you know on on paper in the pictures it looks like more of a structured bag and so I wasn't really expecting like a floppy loose hobo bag another thing that kind of bugged me about this bag is actually a the adjustable strap um, so I kind of noticed the first time that I was wearing it I was like wow I this bag hangs really low I thought I had adjusted the strap to be a little shorter and I had but what happens is because it's this kind of stretchy material I think it's sort of just over time 
loosens itself back up and elongates itself. So what if what I find myself doing a lot is like before I get out of the car to go someplace, I'll sort of shorten the strap back up so that it stays more at my preferred length for the time that I'm out doing whatever. Um, it's not like a huge hassle or hardship, but it is sort of annoying. And I think, you know, what I could do if it really becomes a problem is I might put like a little safety pin or something just to kind of hold this in place. But I think with some of their other previous purses that had come out, I feel like I heard about a similar thing happening and then they did something in like a later version that resolved that. So first of all, I'm surprised that they didn't use whatever technology solution that was on these newer bags when they came out, but also maybe potentially in the future they'll, you know, update the straps and kind of help keep that from happening again. But I mean, it's not like a hundred percent deal breaker, but it is sort of annoying to just always be having to remember to readjust the strap. And then the last thing, maybe this is just a problem for me and maybe other people love this, but these really large floppy loose interior patch pockets, just because they're not the usual size and shape of a interior purse pocket, um, I find that it's sort of challenging to like store the things in there that I usually would. So for example, um, I find like if I put my phone in there, it's not really deep enough and then it's kind of big and loose. And so if the bag isn't zipped shut, my phone like has fallen out of here. So what I ended up using those patch pockets for is my sunglasses, which I sometimes put in a patch pocket, sometimes don't. And then I have one that's like masks um, and hand sanitizer. And I mean, it, those fit great in here, but I'm used to having, I guess, like two kind of open patch pockets. And then usually there's like one zipper pocket on the other side. And this just doesn't have that. So again, another recommendation for using a purse organizer or something else inside, not only will it give you a little bit more structure, but it will also kind of help you keep organized because there are kind of fewer pockets and they're sort of just like big and loose and open. So that was kind of just my review and thoughts. I will stand up and wear it and demonstrate how it fits on me and then I'll do a quick little what's in my bag at the end and I'll show you the organizer and everything else and kind of how I have it in here. So here I am with the crossbody strap a, a little bit shorter and again it does kind of <laughs> droop down over the course of wearing it so if I start it a little short you know maybe it'll um, you know it'll say it like a reasonable length. I think I did miss part of the dimensions previously so the adjustable strap is 27.9 inches up to 46.8 inches so hopefully that's meaningful to you um, I have it adjusted let's see I have that on the back actually so <laughs> I have it adjusted maybe to like um, I don't know like a little over a foot of um, you know doubled up in length um, and then the strap does have this little bit of ivory detail on the edges um, but again it's primarily black it looks fine with all black outfits or you know blacks and grays and then to wear it with the shoulder strap it just fits nicely under the arm it's very comfortable I think even if you had um, you know like a little bit bulkier jacket or something on I think you'd be able to easily uh, get it on over your shoulder as well and um, just for reference I am five foot four and I have kind of a, a high waist or a short torso so sometimes it's hard to find things that um, sit up high enough on me but again I think this is very convenient here's you know reaching into the bag and pulling things out conveniently um, it's convenient to zip and unzip while you're wearing it. Actually, one other nice feature is that the um, like the start end of the zipper is fastened down. It's secured to the end here. So you don't have like a weird flap you have to kind of hold in place as you're zipping and unzipping it, which is nice. All right, so to wrap up, I'm gonna do a quick what's in my bag. And this really is what's in my bag because I haven't um, taken anything out or done anything to prepare for this. So hopefully there's nothing embarrassing in here, but here we go. So. Um, as I mentioned, I am using a purse organizer to give this a little extra um, structure and organization. So I'll kind of leave that to the end. I'll start with the, um, the interior pockets first. So as I mentioned, in the one pocket, I have a pair of sunglasses. And in the other pocket, I have my masks and also a bottle of hand sanitizer. And then um, separately loose out here, I have this little pouch that I am keeping my um, like charger cords and um, spare battery bank and stuff for my phone. 
And then really the majority of what I have in here is in this little purse organizer. So I think this organizer came from Amazon, I'm pretty sure. Um, I will try to find it and put a link to it. Um, I love purse organizers. If you've seen any of my purse videos before, you know that I usually have one, but this one is like a little bit smaller than some of the other ones that I've used, but it still totally fits everything that I need and um, you know has good pockets and everything. So in the main central part, I have my wallet, I have my reusable shopping bag, and I had my phone. Like I mentioned, I find that the inside flat pockets in here are like just a little too big and loose for something bigger and heavier like that. And then on these outside pockets, I have here a pair of tweezers, a pen, some cuticle oil, and this cute little tiny uh, glass nail file. I'll put a link to this um, from Amazon as well. This actually was a set. I didn't realize it. It was like one big regular glass nail file and then this little tiny one, but it's so cute and it comes in a little case. So it's perfect for keeping in your purse. And then on the other side, I just have a tube of lotion and a uh, lip balm and I think, yeah, that's all that's in here. And then there's these little uh, zipper pockets on this one. So on this side I have, usually I would just have one tissue pack, but instead I have like the remnants of three tissue packs that I need to finish them all. And I think that's all that's in that pocket. And then in this other zipper pocket, I have all kinds of stuff. So I had like some little pills and a little pill case. Um, this is a little um, travel mirror. I have a little travel bottle of um, painkiller, a little tiny tape measure. I always like showing this in my what's in a purse. You would be surprised how often you could refer to a tape measure while you're out shopping. And I have some dental floss and another dental floss for some reason. And that's basically it. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I will continue making review videos like this. And if this is your first Rothy's purchase, um, don't forget to use my referral code. I'll put it in the um, description box below and that will give you a little discount on your first purchase from them. Please don't pay full price if you are able to use a discount code um, and then you'll also get a code that you can pass along to your friends and you'll earn some commission from them as well. So thank you again for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye. Now Dimitri, if you're going to be crunching on that food over there, we really can't be having that right now, okay? I am filming a video. Thank you.